John Tu, the co-founder of computer memory maker Kingston Technology, had a close call in July. In a sliver of normalcy as COVID-19 surged across the country, Tu was chatting in close proximity with a friend, not wearing a mask. The next day, that same friend called him to say he'd been in contact with someone who tested positive for the virus. Tu, 79, decided to get tested. Instead of going to urgent care and waiting a week or more for his results, or summoning a private doctor like many other billionaires, he phoned his son. Do you have one of your machines available? He asked. Come home now. Jonathan, 33, rushed over with a device, roughly the shape and size of a computer tower, that could turn around coronavirus results within an hour. Jonathan got it from medical diagnostics company, Fluxer G, where he is chief financial officer. At the Irvine, Caliph, based company, his job is to keep an eye on the bottom line, so he had never actually administered the test himself. But the device was designed to be used by anyone with a little training, even if it hadn't yet been approved by the US Food and Drug Administration. So, too, the sole investor in the diagnostic company, leaned his head back as his son stuck a swab up his nose and tickled what felt like his frontal lobe. It came back negative, a result later confirmed by an outside test. Fluxergy's analyzer, which automates the kinds of medical diagnostic tests performed in a lab and is designed to be used in urgent cares, office clinics and other community health facilities, snagged John Tu's attention, and financial backing, years ago. Fluxer-G CEO and co-founder Tej Patel, 32, is a childhood friend of Jonathan Tu, who pitched the point-of-care test to his father as a billion-dollar idea, back in 2013. It's not a huge surprise that Tu agreed to invest. If you have a good partnership, that is the key point that makes you be successful, he recalls, so I thought from the beginning that they have the quality. They're nerdy, but they think right. Tu has built a storied career and $6.5 billion fortune around the notion that all business is personal. In 1982, he put his trust in friend and basketball partner David Sun, who had a hunch that personal computers would be the next big thing. They grew computer memory company Kingston Technology into an industry leader by prioritizing relationships with customers and employees. Personal connections turned out to be more important than technology in a quickly commodifying business. Ultimately no one really knows, or cares, who makes the memory chips in their laptop. The company, which two and son still run as CEO and Chief Operating Officer, respectively, now does nearly $13 billion in sales. With that kind of capital and clout, he could be an investing force if he chose to be but instead has apparently invested in only a few startups run by people he knows, a manufacturer and an AI company, both founded by friends in Taiwan.